The discovery of the arrowhead is an amusing anecdote, you might say. It was a kind of byproduct of another study. We had been asked to find a rib fracture from which tissue samples could be taken. But with the X-rays we had, it wasn't possible to precisely locate the fracture. So for this purpose, new X-rays had to be made. Then the radiologist at Bolzano Hospital, Dr. Kostner, analyzed the images, and I remember exactly how, on that memorable day, he came to my office and showed me the X-rays and said, I can't see a fracture, but I can see something quite different, just as interesting. And with his wand, he pointed to the left shoulder, where this triangular shadow was visible, and said to me, well, based on my experience and the density measurement in the X-ray, that's a stone-like foreign body. I'd say it's an arrowhead. Afterwards, in the light of this pretty spectacular piece of news, we examined the mummy itself, and on its back we found this small, very shrunken hole. And from that, of course, we were able to reconstruct the full story. Based on the latest research and scientific evidence, this man died a violent death. He was hit by an arrow. The archer shot at him from behind, hit him in the back. The arrow went through the shoulder blade and embedded itself in the soft tissue of the left armpit. Besides nerves, the major blood vessels also pass through this region, and the arrow caused severe injury, resulting in massive bleeding. How the arrow was removed from the body, either by himself or by the archer, is not clear. But this of course meant that he quickly lost a lot of blood and bled to death within a short time. How the other injuries occurred to the skull is still to some extent in the realm of hypothesis and theoretical deduction. The man may have passed out due to the loss of blood. He may have fallen, hit his head on a stone and sustained the fractures. But it's also possible that he was attacked by the aggressor, who threatened him with his bare fists or with a weapon, and injured him thus. Following this important discovery of the arrowhead injury, we took another very close look at the mummy, seeing it through completely different eyes. And, of course, we found a series of injuries on the skin, the legs and the hands. Up to then, all had been classified as so-called recovery injuries. A closer study of the mummy revealed on the hand, mainly on the palm of the hand between index finger and thumb, on this bridge of flesh, so to speak, a deep cut. And even with the naked eye, it was clear that this wound had a dark background. In forensic pathology, a dark brown or black colouring always indicates that it may be blood. And of course, it's also proof of an injury. Not only that, the time of injury can also be defined. That is, we can say that the injury occurred 24 to 48 hours before death. We did this dating, and we know that one and a half to two days before he died, this man was involved in a fight, or let's say a violent scene. From that, of course, we concluded that a fight had indeed taken place. You can imagine that when someone is defending himself against an attacker who's going for him with a sharp knife or an axe, he takes up a defensive posture, holding his hand high, and so he can be wounded, typically, 
in this region.